If life was someday proven to be a simulation, what glitch or anomaly could you point to as a major clue we'd missed? The batter Mainhoff Phenomenon When you learn something new it seems like you see it everywhere right after that. Like a video game when you learn some new move then it is immediately applicable to your life. Motherfucker I was just telling someone about the batter Mainhoff Phenomenon a couple of hours ago. When your pen gets lost as soon it hits the floor and then appears right there after some time. I dropped a pen once while doing homework back in high school. I was sitting on a bench in a grassy field that was not overgrown by any means. There wasn't anything around the bench. I spent an absurd amount of time looking for the pen before deciding it vanished. Before cell phones I accidentally misdialed a person's number and got them at someone else's house with the wrong number being three numbers off. I talked to her for about a minute and she asked me how I got her uncle's number. I said I didn't have his number, I dialed hers. We both fell deadly silent thinking about how bizarre it was. The Quantum Eraser Quantum physics as a whole feels like a huge dev shortcut. Things only exist in a definitive state when they are interacted with, kind of like a GPU only rendering things when your character is looking at them. Came here to say this. From a development perspective, if you had to make a program that simulated billions upon billions upon billions of particles then the first and most important optimization would be to not keep track of all of them all of the time. Coincidentally, this is exactly what we observe in our universe with quantum mechanics. The universe does not appear to keep track of all of the particles all of the time, and only tracks them when it needs to. This seems crazy from a reality standpoint and even bothered Einstein, but makes complete sense from a programming point of view so our universe is optimized. Next step might be to make it scalable, so that every particle doesn't can't interact with every other particle too quickly. Some way to split the processing between servers. Maybe make a universal speed limit restricting how fast any information can be communicated. We'll call that C, the speed of light. So our universe is scalable. Last step might be to paper over the quirkiness and bugs that might develop between our optimization layer particle tracking and our more macro universe forces in the rare times those things interact. Don't want to break the entire simulation just because we don't know how these things should work together. Maybe just wrap the whole thing up in a bubble that doesn't let anything escape to pollute the rest of the simulation. We'll call it a black hole. Don't forget Wheeler's delayed choice. Quantum transactions reconciled backwards in time. The speed of light is the universal refresh rate. The Planck length is the universal pixel. Quantum superposition is for data compression. You could say the strict laws of physics that govern our reality. If we were in, say, a video game, we'd eventually start wondering why the rules seem absolutely rigid mathematical. Maybe the speed of light is just the speed limit for transmitting information within the network of our simulation. Also, there seems to be a limited resolution due to Planck's constant. Deja Reve. It's similar to Deja Vu but it's where you've dreamed of a future moment. It's weird and for me it hasn't been useful. But one moment I'll be experiencing life and know what's going to happen, because I saw it in a dream. I'll even know about my futile attempts to change it from the dream. It only lasts a couple minutes at most and is at mundane moments but it is freaky. I have had that for me. The dreams are vague and slightly informed, and then when the thing happens IRL, it all snaps into place. Creepy. C. The speed of light reads like a hotfix. Change notes for version 1.01. .01. Late game players have been reporting a bug where objects appear to spawn before the spawn conditions have been met, causing erroneous results. Testing reveals that objects traveling at very high speeds cause an end overflow on the time axis resulting in unpredictable results and skyrocketing CPU usage. As a temporary fix, massless objects now have their velocity locked for QO purposes. Objects with mass will require exponentially increasing energy to increase speed, hitting a hard wall at 3x108 meters per second. This means interstellar travel is functionally disabled. Will eventually be addressed in the wormhole update, release TBA. For now please stay away from any black holes. When you run into someone you don't know, and you both stare at each other saying, You look familiar. Do I know you? And then ask a million questions trying to figure it out, and come to the conclusion that you don't in fact know each other. Then walk away still wondering why that person looked so familiar. 
I was washing dishes and doing prep and salads at a newly opened Korean place while I was staying at a sober living house getting my shit together. Fell in love with a few new dishes there. Anyway, a woman starts there working the line during the day, and from day one until about two weeks later we both racked our memories because we just knew we knew each other. Went to different schools, she didn't work at any of my old jobs. Then one day she's like, I figured it out. I used to work the counter at such and such local pharmacy, and I made the connection and my face dropped. I used to go to that pharmacy a couple days a week because they sold individual clean syringes for cheap. I bought needles from her for years. And as soon as I started begging her not to mention it to our fairly conservative sweet old Korean boss, she says, Hey, I didn't judge you then and I don't judge you now. Glad to see you're doing better and don't have hepatitis. That was so sweet I almost cried, and we hugged. Shame the head chef was such a twat, or I would have stayed way longer. Deja vu. Welp, yesterday while driving with my daughter in the car, she says, Dad, I'm starting to feel that this whole human thing isn't real, so I guess that would be confirmed as my first hint. Haha, <laughs> every now and again turn to her with a blank stare and yell, Wake up! Why physics appears to operate under different rules depending on whether you are looking at very big things or very small things. If it is a simulation they simply fake the big things to save processing power which is why quantum physics doesn't fit neatly in our understanding of the universe and likely why we are detecting dark matter. The way stuff behaves differently based on whether or not it's observed also seems like the programmers are trying to hide how the source code works. Millions of years of evolution and we can still accidentally bite our own tongue? That's some bullshit. That thing where you go into a room for something and then forget why. Like a sim who had their action cancelled. That can't be for no reason, that was someone in our simulation cancelling our action. That's actually because your brain compartmentalizes thoughts based on location. New room equals new train of thought equals what the heck did I walk into this room for? That's why if I forget something, I go back to the place where I had that thought. Whether it's a place in my home, or a place in a book, movie, music. I don't know if this is just me, but I often have a boring dream of myself in a classroom or on a bus, wake up and forget it pretty quickly. Then, many years later, I'm on a bus or in a classroom and I see something or hear something that I saw or heard in that dream. Then I suddenly remember that dream and get really confused. In reality, I probably dreamed about being in a different classroom or on a different bus and my brain took this new but very similar event and overlaid it over the old dream changing my memory of that dream. It's happened about ten times in my life so far. Some get sick for no reason and some who should be sick because of how they live seem super healthy. No kidding, I don't take care of myself nearly enough but almost never get sick while I know incredibly responsible people who are just disease and ailment magnets. Periods. Let's leave a trail of blood for predators to follow at the same time that I'm curling up in a fetal position from cramps. Super suspicious, sounds like it was made by the same people who put sims in a pool and removed the ladder so they can drown. Black holes could be a glitch. Black holes are the deletion program of the sim. Children who are convinced that they've lived before, and know sometimes verifiable facts about the person they think they were. OMG I was at work once and a little kid pointed at me and said he knew me. The mom asked where from, and he said, from before I was born. It's been like six years since that happened and I think about it a lot lol definitely tripped me out. Dreaming. How it could be a gateway to another universe or version of yourself. And how do we manage to forget most dreams especially the important ones. Keep a dream journal to remember dreams better. Write in it as soon as you wake up. In high school I downloaded an app that would wake you up when you were dreaming so you could write them down while they're fresh in your memory. After a few months... I lost that phone and forgot about the app. I recently downloaded the app to find out that all of the stories were kept through my account. I couldn't have told you a single dream I wrote down in there because I completely forgot. But the moment I read my own stories, written in groggy barely awake grammar, I was immediately teleported into the exact scenarios of the dreams. I could all of a sudden vividly picture the smallest details of the dream simply after reading a few words. It was wild. The dual slit experiment. Basically, light acts like a wave when you look at it. But if you look at light really, really closely, 
You see it's not a continuous wave but made of teeny little particles called photons. These photons, when there's loads of them, affect each other so they act in waves. Seems simple. However, when you fire photons one at a time at a piece of card with two slits in it, they still act like they're being affected by lots of other photons around them. So whoever designed our simulation wanted to model light using waves, but it was too complex so made photons instead. The same way a curve in a video game is actually made of square pixels. They never figured we'd get smart enough to experiment on individual pixels. As Neil deGrasse Tyson likes to say, if we discover that we can simulate the universe, then more likely than not, we are probably living in a simulation ourselves. What other clues that we live in a simulated universe can you think of? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.